In today's video, we will see how to use VLOOKUP on vast data. We will see total 4 examples in which 3 will be for VLOOKUP and 1 will be for XLOOKUP. Over here I have got a data and the data is really vast with 26 columns and more than 500 rows. Let's see our very first example. In our very first example, we will be using VLOOKUP along with column. Let's understand column first plus or equal to column, bracket open, bracket close, enter. What we got as a result? We got 3. When we see our columns, A is my first column, B is my second column and C is my third column. But our data is starting from column B. So over here we need 2, not 3. So how can we get 2 over here? Let's double click on the formula. In the end, I'll be inserting minus 1. Enter and we got 2. Let's drag this to right and our column numbers are getting changed and this is what we are going to use in our VLOOKUP. Let's delete this. Product name, my formula will be plus or equal to VLOOKUP. Bracket open, lookup value. Our lookup value should be always on left hand side. So product code is my lookup value. There are a couple of things in VLOOKUP which we should always remember. Whenever we are using VLOOKUP and when we have selected our lookup value, it should be partially logged. Means we should insert dollar in the very beginning. It can be done manually or we can use shortcut also. Shortcut is F4 or function F4. And we will have to press F4 or function F4 three times and dollar will be inserted in the very beginning, comma. So this is the very first thing to remember. Now we have to provide table array. Table array means our data. Let's come to our data. In our data, product code is the very first thing. And product code is our lookup value also. So we will have to select our data from product code. I always prefer to select my data from top. Means I prefer to select all the columns from top. So I have selected the whole data from top. Basic reason behind selecting data from top. In case my data increases in future, I'll not have to change my formula again and again. Now, the second thing what we have to remember, we should always select our data from top. Once data is selected, we have to lock our data fully. And for that, I'll be pressing F4 or function F4 one time, comma, column index number. Over here, I'll be inserting any column index number of my choice. So I'll be putting two, comma. I got two options, true and false. True is for approximate match means nearby match and false is for exact match. So our target over here is exact match. So I have selected false. In place of false, we can put zero also. So zero is for false and one is for true. Now I'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. I got my product name. Third thing what we have to remember we should always put the criteria of if error in our VLOOKUP formulas. Now the question comes over here. Why? Let me delete product code from here. We got NA error. So to avoid the error, we should use if error in our VLOOKUP. I'll double click over here. We'll come in the very beginning. If error bracket open will come to the end, comma, double inverted comma twice for blank. I'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. Now we can't see anything over here, but our formula is sitting. If I'll be selecting any product code from here, I'll get my result. So I've inserted my formula. Now what we have to do, I'll double click on my formula, will come in the end where we can see two. And this two is our column index number. We will delete two and we'll put column. Bracket open bracket close. In the very beginning, when we had seen what column is going to do, over there we had inserted minus 1. So I'll be putting minus 1. Enter. Now we can drag our formula to right. And just notice, we got our desired results. Means we got the results in all the 26 columns. If I drag down my product code and will drag down my formula also, we are getting the desired results. Even we can drag this to right side. And in each and every place, we got the desired result. So this is how 
column is going to work on vast data. Let's see our next example. In our very first example of columns, we got the data for all the columns. But in our current example, we will see how to get desired result for limited heads. And for this, we are going to use match. Let's understand match first. Plus or equal to match. Bracket open. Lookup value. In lookup value, I'll be taking header. So my very first header over here is product name. So I'll click on product name. As we have to drag our formula to right, as well as to the bottom, I'll be partially locking my lookup value. And for that, I'll be pressing F4 or function F4 two times. Means in match, I'll be inserting dollar in the center. Comma, lookup array. Where we have to look for the word product name among all these headers. So I have selected all the headers from here. Now I'll be pressing F4 or function F4 one time and my range will be fully logged. Comma, match type. Our match type will be exact match. So I'll be selecting zero. I'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. Just notice we got two over here and this is what we are going to use in our formula. I'll delete this. Let's use VLOOKUP first. Plus or equal to VLOOKUP. Bracket open. Lookup value. Product code is my lookup value. I'll press F4 or function F4 three times and dollar will be inserted just in the beginning of my cell reference. Comma. Table array. I'll be going to my data and we'll select my data from top. We'll select till end. I'll fully lock my data by pressing F4 or function F4 one time. Comma. I'll put column index number. I'll put 2 over here. Comma 0 for exact match. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. I got product name. Now what we have to do? We have to insert the criteria of if error. I'll double click on the formula. We'll come in the very beginning. If error bracket open. We'll come to the end. Comma double inverted comma twice for blank, we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. Now we will use the function of match in VLOOKUP. I'll double click over here. We'll click just after 2, which is our column index number. We'll delete this and we'll insert the function of match. Match bracket open lookup value. Product name is our lookup value. We'll press F4 or function F4 two times and dollar will be inserted in the center. Comma, lookup array, where we have to look for the word product name. We will be going to our data sheet and we select all the headers. I'll press on first header that is product code. We'll press shift control right arrow key and all the headers got selected. Comma, match type. I'll select zero because I want exact match. We'll close the bracket of match and we'll hit enter. Now let's drag our formula to right and we are not getting the desired result. Why? Let's delete this first. Let's double click on our formula. Over here, we haven't logged our lookup array of match. So I'll select this. We'll press F4 or function F4 one time and my lookup array of match will be logged. Now I'll hit enter. We'll drag this to right and just notice we got the desired results. What will happen if I'll select star rating from here? We are able to see stars. And if I'll do this product name, we can see product name. So we can drag our formula to the bottom. Let's select all this and let's drag this down. And just notice we are getting the desired results. If I'll be doing brand over here, I got all the brands. If I'll be doing remarks over here, we got the remarks. If I'll be putting customer ID, we are getting customer ID. Let's see our third example of VLOOKUP. On the top, we have got our column numbers as per our data. Like price is in column 6 in our data. Let's go to data. Price is in column 6. Customer name is in column 12. Let's go to data. Let's come to right hand side. Customer name is in column 12. So over here, we will be using a single formula and with a single formula, we will be achieving our results. Let's insert our formula plus or equal to VLOOKUP. Bracket open. Lookup value. 
product code is our lookup value. We will press F4 or function F4 three times and dollar will be inserted in the very beginning. Comma, table array. Let's go to our data. Let's select our data from top. We'll press F4 or function F4 one time and our range will be logged. Comma, column index number. Let's go to our sheet. We are in the sheet of single formula. So I'll delete sheet's name from here and we'll insert curly bracket. Which columns I want? I want column 2. I'll put 2 over here, comma, column number 6, comma 7, comma 8, comma, I want column 12, comma 13, comma 14, comma 17, comma, let's come to right hand side. I want 18, 23 and 25. So I'll put 18, comma 23, comma 25. Curly bracket close, comma, I'll select false for exact match or we can put zero also. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. And we got the desired result till end. Perfect. What we have to remember? We have to remember to put the criteria of if error. I'll double click over here. We'll come in the very beginning. If error bracket open. We'll come to the end comma double inverted comma twice for blank. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. What will happen if I'll drag this down and will drag down my formula from here. I'm getting the desired result in every place. So we have seen three examples. First with column, second with match and third with a single formula by using curly bracket. Let's move to next and last example. In this example, we will be using XLOOKUP. Let's insert the formula plus or equal to XLOOKUP. Bracket open, lookup value. This is our lookup value, means product code is our lookup value. Over here also, we will be locking our lookup value by pressing F4 or function F4 three times and dollar will be inserted in the very beginning. Comma, lookup array. I'll be going to my data. In VLOOKUP, we have got table array, but in XLOOKUP, we have got lookup array. So where we have to look for our lookup value, that is product code among all these codes. So I have selected all the codes. I'll be pressing F4 or function F4 one time and my range will be logged, comma, return array. In return, what I want? In return, I want product name. So I'll select whole column of product name. I'm not going to lock this. I'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter and we got product name. Let's drag our formula to right and we got the desired result. Let's come to left. Let's change our product code and our data is getting changed. Let's drag this down. I'll click on product name. We'll press shift control right arrow key and we'll drag down my formula. Let's come to left and all the things are working very perfectly. Just notice we got all the data through XLOOKUP also. So now it's totally your choice what to use, column, match, single formula or XLOOKUP. I'll provide the link of file in description box. In case you want to download, you can.